Hey guys, I'm the Disc Golf Teacher here with my buddy Garrett. We were pretty comparable in abilities. We both tied last night at our local Disc Golf League. Anyway, today we're going to be playing the Lighthouse Disc Golf Course, the long tees, yep. or long pins I should say. And so with that, we're just going to be playing singles, kind of give you an idea of what the layout looks like, and of course for bragging rights. So let's do it. All right, hole one's a 545 foot par four. You gotta go straight down this tunnel, and then it does bend a little bit to the right at the end, but super tricky tunnel shot. Par is a great score on this hole. Woo, got a little sneaky. All right, I got a little bit to the right over here. I think I just have to pitch back to the middle and then hope for a par after that. Yeah, that should be good. Nice. All right, guys, hole one is probably the hardest starting hole here in Omaha. Would you agree, Garrett? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we both took bogeys there. I promise it's going to be all downhill from here. Uh, hole two is a 507 foot par four. Kind of go up and around these group of trees to the left, and it sits pretty far down there. Um, or a sneaky gap, which I might try today, is kind of through this left side over here, over the sidewalk. It's sneaky. Oh. Oh. Oh man, I think I gotta go turbo over the top. Ugh. Do it. That was an ugly par. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, two pars there on hole two. Uh, hole three is a 374 foot par three, all downhill. And there's a couple gaps. You probably want to take the right gap and then hyzer back to the left. Get a sneaky. Ah! Oh, I'm like yeah? Oh no. All right, Garrett took the box there from me on hole number three. I took another bogey. Hole four is a 405 foot par four where you have to kind of go to the short basket and then sort of diagonally up to the right. We are not that great at putting, as you saw there, so I think I took a par, Garrett with the bogey. I believe that evens us back out. So hole five is a 491 foot par three. It is all downhill though, so that's um, not as far as it seems, kind of right there in front of the power pole. Uh, there is another pin where I wish it'd be kind of further down to the right, so we kind of have to throw a little up shot, but right now it is in the 491 spot.
Oh. All right, two more pars there on hole five. Hole six is a 546 foot par four. This one, if you just kind of get as far as you can up the tee, it should be a little chipper into the basket for an easy birdie. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. All right, guys, hole six was a little lackluster by both of us there. I hit a tree, Garrett went into the rough. Uh, anyway, hole seven is a 642 foot par four again. Again, these last couple are ones you probably want to get, and so we need to be playing a little bit better. This one, if you can get past kind of the short basket here, it's sort of the V tree, um, and then you should have a pretty open shot into the long basket. Oh, that's a beaut. There we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Dig. Yeah. Checked up. Let's go. Yeah. But finally a birdie. Let's go. All right, guys, hole seven, I finally took a birdie there, so I think I got Garrett by one now. Um, hole eight is a 525 foot par three. Should be a par four, but you just have to launch something out into this field. Sometimes there's OB on either side when there's tall grass, but it looks like today they just mowed it. Oh no. Oh yes. There you go. Hole nine is a 288 foot par three. This one you gotta kind of go over the ridge. Uh, if you go towards that dead tree, that's a little bit too far to the right. So you actually have to be to the left of it. Ah. layout. All right, a couple more pars there on hole nine. Hole 10 is a 562 foot par four. This one you really have to ride the hillside and it is easy to lose discs here. So throw something you can find. Dude, that was great. Oh, that's way short. All right guys, hole 10, Garrett was able to take the birdie there. I ended up with the par. That uphill shot was a little bit further than I thought. Hole 11 is a 308 foot par three. Uh, a couple gaps here off the tee with that tree there in the middle. You do want to take the right side so it can hyzer in towards the basket, which sits down to the left. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, 
Yes, sir. All right, I took the birdie back there on hole 11. Hole 12 is a 448 foot par four. This one's tricky though, because you have to kind of hit this super tight gap off the tee and you can actually go too far down there. So you don't want to go all the way to the bottom because that will prevent you from having a nice upshot into the pin on the next shot. Oh yeah. Good shot. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. It's gonna be a tough upshot. Wow. All right, I took a par there. Garrett did take a double bogey, I think. So I think I got him by three strokes now. Full 13 is 216 foot par three. Straight in front of you there, probably just a putter off the tee. Maybe an ace run? No. Oh, that's like worst case scenario. Yep. Oh, sit down. Oh no, sit, 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 sit. Good putt. All right, two pars there on hole 13. Hole 14 is a 292 foot par three. Kind of cool, it's lit up there right in front of us. So I just gotta make something happen. Oh. Mmm. Oh, it looks good. Nice up. All right, another couple pars there on hole 14. Hole 15 is a 359 foot, all downhill par three. And so there's kind of a tree there at the bottom. If you get past that, you should be in good shape. Turning, baby. Keep turning. Oh. Nice. All right, another couple pars there. Again, guys, on these last few holes, if you can get par, it's actually been doing pretty well. There's nettles everywhere, so pars are great scores. Hole 16 is 341 feet. It is kind of tough to see here. You can see it's kind of a short basket. There's lots of different avenues towards the basket. You just gotta pick one and commit. Oh! Oh. Wow. That was the best forehand roller I've ever thrown. That was disgusting. Mm. Ah. Oof. Bull 17 is a 347 foot par four. This one doesn't sound very far, but you do have to kind of get through this, this little kind of gap or a wall of trees. If you get past that, got a nice little upshot for a pretty easy birdie. Oh, that's way left. Uh -oh. Great kick. Oh. 
All right guys, hole 17, we both took some pars there. Though that one you really wanna get your birdie on, so it kinda has some bad kicks, but that's all right. Hole 18, last hole. This is 335 foot par three. This one plays down and to the right. However, if you go too far right, that's where the lake is. And then you can see the lighthouse. That's why it's called Lighthouse Disc Golf Course. Oh, too much hyzer. Ooh, great kick. What an amazing wow. kick. Yeah. Perfect. Get up. Nice. All right, guys, that's the Lighthouse Disc Golf Course here at Lake Cunningham. I did end up taking it down by four strokes, I think. Dang. Um, but anyway, hey, if you like this kind of content, please leave a like down below. That helps this video spread to more people. And anyway, until next time, we'll see you out there on the course.